Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I am Millicent and in this video, I will be showing you how we prepare to start our homeschooling day. Come along! My son Jedi is usually the first to wake, normally between 6 and 7 a.m. You will either find him working with the material from the shelf or playing with his trains or cars. Other days like today, I wake up to find him nestled soundly asleep between my husband and I. Waking up next to my husband and son is one of my greatest pleasures. I have a quick devotion before heading out to Jedi's room to open the blinds. Then I return the fan to the cupboard where we usually leave it during the day. By this time, Jedi is awake but still lying in bed. So I take the time to brush my teeth. After I'm done, I join Jedi in bed for a morning devotion and prayer. We use the Kids Bible app and Jesus Calling Kids devotional. The Holy Spirit, do you remember? Who's the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit gives us power. Get on to pray. My eyes are closed. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Am
We outwork this principle in our homeschool, parenting, and lifestyle through modeling and consistency. After moisturizing, Jedi selects his clothes and dresses himself. No? Yeah, I only have one. Oh, okay, let me go have a look. Then, he folds and put his night clothes away. I went away briefly to get myself ready, and by the time I returned, Jedi had already started his work cycle by selecting and working on this felt B puzzle. Starting the work cycle in my absence is not unusual. This is a homeschool after all. When the environment is prepared for the child, it is only natural to see them familiar comfortable and flourishing in it. Homeschooling can be a beautiful experience. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already and until we come again your way next time, stay blessed.